you do have the oh. end of rate hikes from the US and some potential normalization from the uh, from the BOJ uh, inflation has been picking up um, in Japan we think that the BOJ will normalize maybe not in a hurry though possibly in July uh, that's that's what we think at this point in time um, near term we still have potential um, upside to the dollar in fact um, we think that there is more uh, upside to dollar cnh which is where uh, uh, our, our strategists have been calling it for um, uh, for a while now um, for a few few different reasons one is the um, uh, the seasonal dividend payments um, the change in um, uh, the decline in goods uh, exports globally move to services, which is again a theme that we highlighted right at the beginning of the year, sure. that that's going to be the theme for this year, uh, the, the rotation away from goods exports to service exports. Mm -hmm. So economies that are more dependent on goods exports might underperform. Those right. that are more dependent on service exports might outperform. That's where the likes of the Thai bath comes in, where uh, uh, tourism has started to pick up should continue to pick up through the year and that might be a currency that does well or performs the peers in the region. Would that help lift the Indian rupee because services exports is picking up in India? That is correct. Uh, service exports has picked up quite a bit, uh, partly because of the increase in IT BPO exports um, to the tune that it's it's almost 50% uh, higher than where it used to be and it's growing at a fairly sharp pace as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is a, a definite tailwind for the INR yeah. um, and we are uh, uh, constructive of the INR. But on the other hand, we also think that the RBI has over the recent past taken a very prudent um, attitude towards effect reserves and they might take the opportunity to build back some reserves on strength. Uh, so we think that the INR would, um, uh, would be strengthened, but it would train right. in a narrow range in the near term. Just quickly, you say you expect J Japan to normalize. What do you mean by that? What will normalization look like? What will the process whereby it's implemented look like? Is it possible to normalize without some severe um, market movement? So by normalization, I mean the, the, on, the, on the yield curve control, we're, we're not talking about yeah. rate hikes in the front end anytime soon in Japan. Uh, the POG has been particular that uh, uh, inflation needs to be steady, uh, inflation needs to be comfortably medium term uh, at the 2% handle, which is some way away from definitively saying that, although near term all the signs are good. Uh, so the normalization we're talking about is on the yield curve control, yeah. which we think is very likely.